The question I get asked most is, how do you bring energy to a presentation, to a meeting, to an event, when you're just not feeling it? When you're like my cat, you want to just doze on the sofa, what do you do? So I'm feeling a bit today. It's the end of the day. I'm pretty exhausted. I'd love to be lying on the sofa with the cat. However, I've got a really important meeting in a minute and I have got to up my energy levels. So what am I going to do? Well, the first thing I think of is I have an audience. I have people watching me. I'm going to energize myself for them. They are the most important people. So I cannot be raw. I have to pull myself together. Yeah, coffee helps. A glass of water. Definitely hydrate yourself. But it's more than that. Now, do some warming up exercises. Really easy if it's a virtual event. You can do what you like. You can do an exercise class beforehand. You can run up and down the stairs, swing your arms around, sing loudly. I like to go and speak with weird accents to the cat. And I've got a dog as well because they make you sort of, they make the cat look at you like this and the dog look at you like this. And that's funny. And you get a laugh and then you feel cheered up and that helps get you in a good mood. But at a live event, you know, just go to the toilet cubicle and wave your arms around, do some weird faces, do some breathing. Breathing is so important. Now I read or said all that so fast that I probably didn't take a breath and it's super important to breathe properly. Really filling your lungs with oxygen, doing some deep breathing will actually, yes, calm you down and make you speak a bit more slowly, but it also energizes you. It's the best exercise, the best tip I can give you. Do some Googling about how to breathe properly or just DM me, I'll send you some messages. So we've sort of energized ourselves physically and we've energized our brain, our lungs. Um, Next thing we need to do is really exercise our brain and our imagination. So I want you to imagine the most energetic, charismatic person that you know, or if you don't know them, it could just be someone you've seen on the telly, a TV celebrity, a presenter, and think about how their energy makes you feel. And sort of say those words out loud, absorb them into your brain. Things like lively, charismatic, friendly, warm, generous of spirit, exuberant. Whatever the words are, they will start your brain thinking, oh, okay, those are good words and those are good things to be. And just the act of thinking about it will help boost those mood for you, those mood, those feelings for you. The next tip I have is to speak up because quite often we can be quite quiet. If you know that's you, There are some exercises you can do to help raise that level in your voice. And again, DM me, but I've made lots of videos about it on my YouTube channel. So raise your voice just a little bit because doing that will energize you a bit. It helps you stand up and and feel more confident. And on that, do stand up, stand up tall, like really feel like you're grounding through your feet and then growing up through your head. Give a little bit of length in your body, more space for your lungs to breathe. It makes you stand straighter, it gives you a sense of power and energy and helps your confidence. And even at a virtual event, I would raise my um, computer up and and stand up and talk into the camera that way, because that again, gives you that sense of energy and it also changes the timbre and the tone of your voice. It's more pleasant to listen to. When I worked in radio as a newsreader, if we were reading the news into a kind of youth music station, we often would stand to deliver the news because it would give a bit more urgency and power to what you were saying. Maybe for the talk-based station or the classical musical station, we would definitely sit down, be a bit more measured and calm in our delivery. It makes a big difference. Try it and see. And I think the other thing to think about is the best teacher you ever had at school, how they might have been teaching the same subject for 40 years, as some of mine were, but the really good ones, they were delivering it as if it was the very first time they'd said something. It was really fresh and new and done with passion, and it made it much more entertaining for the audience, for the pupils. And that's what you want to think about, keeping it as entertaining and fresh and fun for your audience. It doesn't matter how exhausted you are at the end of it, You should have given your energy to it. You should have given it your all. Then you can have your drink and lie on the sofa with the cat.